Hey guys, Nick here. Uh, today I'm just doing a fairly simple video of how to take apart an original Xbox Controller S. Uh, this is the S. I'm pretty sure it would stand for Slim, but pretty much uh, the original Xbox Controller that came out for it uh, when it launched. Uh, came out with a big ass controller. It was pretty big. I do have an unboxing video of me when you see my reaction to that, but uh, unless I deleted it, I think I deleted it because I really hate that video. But anyways, uh, I'm just here today showing you how to take it apart. So first off, all you'll need is uh, something to hold the screws in and a Phillips head screwdriver. So once you have those, this is a fairly common uh, screwdriver. You can buy like most starter tool sets have them, things like that or your dad may have one, a sport shop, whatever. But as for me, I've already taken off the screws, but there's seven screws. There's two on the controller grips, as you can see right there, and then three on the back, two right here, and then one behind the sticker. As you can see, I have it peeled off and rather nice and clean, but uh, that's something you will have to do though is peel it off you can either just like stab through it and peel it off like that or be all professional like I did but once you remove these screws the it should be the back should be able to just kind of slide right off it's really uh there's really no uh, force to it it's fairly simple as you can see here's the uh, back of the controller the outer shell and then right here you're kind of exposed to a few circuits, you see the rumble packs, uh, the triggers, and the cord, which can all be detached very easily, but I won't be sh doing that. And really, now you just got to do is lift that up, and I'll set that to the side. And then right here, uh, obviously, you know, there's a few different things you can do. But like I said, I wasn't taking out the rumble pack. But to get this part off, I'll get um, kind of close here if I can. You'll see these little things right here. Uh, hopefully my nail's long enough to point it out. These little things you need to kind of uh, pop off in a way. It's kind of tricky to do at first, but you just got to be sure you're at the right angle. And you're pulling enough force because you don't want to break it. And if you should, you'll just pull that right off. Memory card slot. And if you want to re replace the head for the analog six, they just slide right off pretty much. As that's what I did with uh, a different controller I had. I switched out. Set that back here. And then right here is very, fairly simple. You take this off. That's the rubber part for the D-pad. And right here, it's hard to see, but right there, there's a little uh, tab you can pull, and I'll pull off the start and select or back buttons. Lift this up, that, and just kind of turn your hand upside down, and there you have uh, your A, B, X, Y buttons and the white and black buttons, as you can see. And then you will have your uh, front faceplate left. Uh, I'm sure you can take out the D-pad. That's really the only thing I don't know how to do. But it, from the looks of it, it's not that hard. But it may be hard to replace. But set that right there. Slide that back on. And voila. You have uh, your shell for the Xbox controller. Well... That's it guys, I hope you found this helpful, thanks for watching, I will be doing a, I will be doing a few controller reviews uh, and uploading them, I'm not sure when exactly, but I'm in the process of making them right now, making sure they're all tip-top shape, so uh, thanks for watching guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.